In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Local by Flywheel. This is my favorite local WordPress development tool. It makes things so easy. It's not the only one out there, but it might not even be the best one out there, even though they seem to think it is the number one WordPress development tool. But I think it's great, so I use it quite a bit. I already downloaded this to my computer and did the initial install. But if you click on download for free, there's a short form to fill out. All they really need is for you to choose your operating system or your computer type and then your email address. You can't download it without giving them your email address. Once you download it and install it, you can boot it up. And when you first boot it up, this will happen on a Mac. I'll just fast forward through all this junk. Oh, didn't need to. So agree to the terms of service. You can create, looks like you do have to create a free account. I don't think you do. You get to get more tools if you do. If you click this X up here, there we go. Is it okay to enable error reports? Yes, turn on error reporting, usage reports, sure. Okay, so now we're in. We didn't need to create an account. If you do create a free account, you get some extra tools. I might look into that later. But as for now, local is set up. It took about 30 seconds to download it, 10 seconds to install it, on my computer anyway, and with my internet connection. And now we're in. You saw the rest of the process. We booted up and now we're in. So now we can log into local when you create a free account. We can create new websites on this tab. We can connect. Local by Flywheel is actually a hosting service as well. And I think uh, they bought WP Engine or WP Engine bought them. One of the two. So you can create sites right in local and push them out to your hosting account if you have one of these two hosting platforms. My blueprints, this basically allows you to create a website blueprint. Let's say you create a lot of websites for dental clinics and medical clinics. You could have a different blueprint for each depending on what your basic setup is for those types of websites. That's a blueprint. And there's add-ons that you can install as well. Some of them are made by local themselves. This one isn't, table plus, but these are all add-ons that are not in the WordPress repository but help you develop your websites faster when working locally. So let's add a website. We can click on this plus here or the plus here. Both will work. Create a new site. You can create from Blueprint, which I mentioned earlier. You will have to create your first site initially, and then you can save it as a Blueprint to be used in the future. Let's create a new site. Let's call this Local Website Testing, for lack of a better term. Advanced options allow you to choose the domain name. So this is the domain name for the local site. It can be changed when you migrate out to live. So I'll keep it as this, because if you already have a, a live site, the same domain, then your computer is gonna show the local site instead of the live site, unless you mess with your settings. So I'm gonna keep it as it is here with the .local extension. And then for the path, this is where the files are saved. You can change whether it's saved by clicking on browse and then change or choose a new spot. I'm gonna keep it where it is. Click on continue for the environment. You can choose preferred or custom. If you know what you're doing, choose a specific PHP version, web server and database that matches whatever hosting account you're going to be pushing it to. It's going to keep it as this, which is the newest and most updated environments you can get. WordPress username, Bjorn, my top secret password, email address. I usually have Bjorn at WPLearningLab.com. Advanced options. This is a multi-site yes or no. If yes, is it a subdirectory or a subdomain? I'm just gonna choose no. Click on add site. Now we have to enter our computer password because this is gonna change the host files so that when you're going, when you're testing your sites locally, it's gonna show the local version of the site instead of the web version like I was mentioning earlier. So if this site domain was the exact same, for example, if this was wplearninglab.com as the site domain, I would have just changed my host file to show my local site instead of the live site when I go to it, which is not ideal. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. If you're creating a brand new site, don't have a domain name for it yet, that could be fine. But if you already have a live site and you maybe downloaded it to local, to do some staging work, some tweaking work, some adjustments, some updates, what have you. You don't necessarily want it to be inaccessible by you, the live site. It would not affect other people. So whatever our host files change to, that's just on our computer. 
So other people would still be able to access your live site as normal. It's just locally on your computer, you wouldn't be able to. And now we can click on WP Admin, and this will take us to our website. Hopefully you remember the password you chose. I think I did, and I think maybe I didn't. I think I did. And here we have WordPress installed, all the latest versions of everything, and we can see in the URL up here, this is a local site. So you can build out your site however you want now, and then push it to live. If you're hosting on WP Engine or Flywheel, it'll be super simple to push it to live. If you're not hosting on one of those, you can install a migration plugin right here in the local site, and then use that to migrate out. Or you can also download the zip file because it's right on your computer. You can go to site folder. This is it right here. This is under app and then public. This is all the WordPress files right here. You can just zip all those up. You can then go to database, open adminer or adminer. Not sure how you pronounce that. And you can export the database and then upload that into your hosting account. That's all a bit more work. It's way easier just to install a migration plugin like all in one WP migration or duplicator and use that to transfer your site but there are various ways that you can do it. And let's see what else is there. That's about all there is. Now we're in WordPress, you develop it however you want, and that's perfect. So this green dot indicates the site is currently running and it's live. If I hover over and click on the red square, it'll turn off, or I can choose stop all if you have a bunch of local sites running or stop site specifically. And then once it's off, you can start site again by clicking various places, either up here, here, or here, and then the site's live again. So if I turn this off, and I want to refresh the site, it doesn't work anymore. If I turn it back on, it works again. And then you need to have it to work to use the live link. If we click on enable, this might be a pro option. You're not logged into local, log in the local account to use live links. This is a really cool feature. That's going to create an account really quick. Okay, so now after creating our account, which was a simple form, and then verifying via email, we now have access to live links. So I click on enable, and this is going to create a live link that you can now copy and give to other people. For example, your client. So you could copy this, send this to your client, who will be able from their computer connect to your computer to see the development site that you're working on locally on your computer. And it says here, sleep mode may prevent others from viewing live links. So you got to coordinate the time. Maybe you're on a Zoom call. Maybe you want to give them access on a Zoom call. You can do that. Even gives you a username and password that they can log in with using this specific link. It's super slick. So you don't have to have a local development, push your updates to a server so that people can view your work. You can do it with live links right inside of local, which makes your life a whole lot easier. So other tools you might want to think about using if you're using local, one-click admin, turn that off choose the username, and now when you click on WP Admin, it just takes you right in. You don't have to enter your password like we did earlier. There's xDebug down here for you devs out there that want to see the debug. Under Tools, you can integrate email with your site and test various email things, contact forms, incoming email, stuff like that. So you can test it using MailHog. Live links, there's some details here about live links. And an important one is saving it as a blueprint, which we talked about a bit earlier. You'd want to create this website how you want the blueprint to be. So upload the plugins, the themes, and configure all the settings you normally use. Once that's complete, come into here, click on these three dots beside the website that's going to be your blueprint, and then click on Save as Blueprint. I'm going to call this Dental Practice Blueprint. You can choose to exclude files or not. Just delete all these if you don't want to exclude any files. Files being ones that are inside of the folder for this website on your computer. Now that's saved as a blueprint. The next time we build a site, if I click on this plus here, we can create from blueprint, click on continue, and we can choose the dental practice blueprint to build a site from that. And you can also come to the blueprints tab and see information about this specific blueprint. Not much information, but a little bit. And Bob's your uncle, you got a blueprint. If you now update this site, this local website testing that the blueprint was based on, it does not update the blueprint. You have to always come in here, click on save as blueprint and resave it anytime you make changes. So if you start using a different plugin for dental practices or 
if you are using a different theme, what have you, you have to save a new blueprint to update the blueprint section. You don't have to worry about plugins being outdated. Like if I save this now, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, the plugins I'm using are gonna be outdated when I use that blueprint. That's not a big deal because you can just install with that blueprint, go into your plugins inside your WordPress site and update them all. So that's not a big deal. And those are the biggest things I use local for. Normally I have about 20 or 30 sites listed here, usually for testing various things for videos I'm making. I do a little bit of client work here and there, but not too much. But with my new computer, this reverted back to zero. I could import all the old ones, but I'd rather just start from fresh from scratch. And so I've got a blank slate here and you're gonna see more sites added to this. And you'll see it throughout future videos as I'm using it for making videos. And that's really the main way I use local, but it has so much power for developing client sites in WordPress or even your own websites in WordPress. And if you wanna check it out, it's free. I encourage you to do so. It's a great little app and I think you will like it a lot. Next up, check out this playlist on speeding up your website because what you wanna do after you build websites locally or live on the internet is speed them up. So make sure you check out that playlist to make them as fast as possible. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.